hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to learn about admin middleware so why we are making this admin middleware because a specific user only should be able to log into his admin dashboard okay so a random user cannot log into the admin dashboard so guys to achieve that we have to uh, do the admin middleware in laravel so guys now let's get started so now guys let's get back to editor so first up we have to mingle with the migrations where we will be setting a role as option over there okay open the terminal now guys let's create the migration php artisan make colon migration where we will tell add underscore details to users table okay make sure you are giving the correct spelling users table users means your table name over here okay so this table name users done and now hit enter so created migration let's go to our database migration and you'll find at last add details to users table so you'll be finding that schema table of users it's mentioned over here very clearly so now guys we need to add that column so dollar table where tiny integer tiny integer as role underscore as okay where default it should be zero by default it is zero and now guys once you roll back this users table you need to drop this column also so you can tell dollar table of drop column drop column what is that column name role as so let's paste here all set and now let's add a comment over here like comment function where you will mention 0 is equal to user and 1 is equal to seller or anything so right now I am going to keep 1 as admin okay this is just a comment to know what it is role as okay so now guys let's migrate it php artisan migrate all set migrated and now we can refresh once and check our output so here you see role as that is zero so right now zero means user okay and now let's get back so now guys let's create the admin middleware okay so php artisan make colon middleware where admin middleware all set hit enter middleware created successfully let's see that let me close this not required now let's go to our app http middleware where you'll find your admin middleware perfect Let's close the terminal and here you have to write some condition use the if condition first where we are going to check authenticated user of his column field user table column field role as is double equal to one if it is one means we'll understand as admin and let's import the class first guys imported and now we need to uh, let's tell this as not before this okay if not it is then you'll be redirecting him so let's return redirect function with the message so let's keep as status itself and here let's tell access denied as you are not admin okay and where you're going to redirect home page okay as simple guys if it is success means it's going to continue and now guys once you log in we have to redirect on where on this admin dashboard if you are admin you should redirect on this admin dashboard if you are not admin then you will be redirected to home page okay direct slash url so guys to set that we have to go in our login controller so let's go to login controller controller auth and your login controller here you find the redirect to 
okay so you need to comment this and let's create a function named authenticated okay so which is defined by the laravel itself so let's create a function and this function is going to be protected so let's add that protected and the function name authenticated and we are going to remove all this types we don't require and here you can set your redirecting path so let's give a condition first over here like if it is admin if authenticated user role underscore as is double equal to one that means it is admin okay return and redirect to redirect back where add the status where you will tell welcome to dashboard so where are you going to redirect back to the admin dashboard if he's admin so let's copy this path and paste that so you are going back to the admin dashboard if he's admin and you have included the auth so let's import its class okay class imported auth done and now guys if he's not an admin then you can just use else function and redirect to home page so let's use return and redirect home page with the message logged in successfully so copy and paste here status logged in successfully all set guys so that's it guys for the redirecting part so let's get back to our admin middleware so we have created the admin middleware but we did not register it so guys now coming to the third step let's go to the kernel.php okay it's in app http kernel.php let's go there and add in your uh, route middleware okay so copy and paste and name it as is admin is admin and call your middleware path so let's get back to our middleware copy the middleware path and just paste that and your middleware name so that is nothing but your admin middleware let me copy the class name admin middleware paste it all set guys so now our admin middleware is registered and now guys let's integrate this in a web.php because we are using a route yep and here is our prefix and now you need to use a middleware here we are going to use middleware function and inside that just assign array and if you want to go to admin dashboard you have to give authenticated okay and then your middleware that is your admin okay is admin that's it guys so now you can get back to your admin dashboard now what happens if we refresh here it goes to login page because it's asking for the authenticated okay authentication and now let's get back let's log in guys so one data we already have one user with at gmail.com let's copy that and give the password and here you see it redirects to home page and now let's try to access the admin dashboard and what happens let's see that so let's go to admin slash dashboard hit enter and you see that access denied as you are not an admin so we are not able to access the admin dashboard because his role is zero right now done so guys now let's register one admin and make his role as one so he can access the admin dashboard so let's log out guys and register one user named as admin so let's register admin admin at gmail.com password one to eight confirm password let's register and it's redirected to home page so let's go to our database users table and here is our admin record okay so this is admin at gmail.com let's go to his role as column and update this manually at one okay all set yep guys and now let's log out and let's log in 
so now click to login so here we go login with admin at gmail.com 5678 hit enter to login and it's redirected to home page okay the condition is wrong guys once admin logs in he should be able to go to his admin dashboard okay at this place done so now guys uh, it did not redirect manually so we are going to set that let's go to editor go to your login controller so add the login controller the condition is well correct uh, oops here we have misspelled it okay it's authenticated authenticated so guys please make sure you are giving the correct spelling save it and now let's log out and once again let's try so let's go and log in admin at gmail.com password that's it it's redirect to admin dashboard and now guys the message was given differently here welcome to dashboard let us show this in the admin dashboard side okay so let's uh, instead of status let's give message over here let's copy this and go to the dashboard so resource views admin inside admin we have created dashboard template at this welcome back we are going to show the message use if condition where session function or a method you are going to use that and show this detail and if and now you can open and close curly brace where session of message that's it guys so if you refresh here okay it's gone let's go back to home page for logout home and let's log out once and let's log in once again and check for the message over there admin at gmail.com the password login and you see welcome to dashboard you have got it cool welcome to dashboard you have got the result that's it so guys this is how we make a admin middleware for an e-commerce admin dashboard so in this video that's it guys and let's continue next video with the new topic of laravel 9 e-commerce series so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share